Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and the good people of Gambia sent me a headset to review and I will be doing an honest review today of this brand new headset. So with that being said guys, they wanted me to be really honest in the review, tell you guys what I like, what I dislike, and how I really feel about the product. So with that being said, let's jump right into this review. So once it's actually unboxed, we have the headset itself right here, some extra ear pads, um, an audio mixer with uh, the mic you know microphone mute uh volume and you have also a ps4 cable right there and then a pc cable so you guys can plug it into your pc as a microphone or use it as a headset if you guys listen to music you also have a little stand that it will sit on in the box and also the microphone which is right there which plugs right into the headset so the one thing guys out of you know only think one thing that i don't like about this is that it is really it's compatible with the ps4 you guys can plug it directly into the controller via this cable or this cable because this cable right here will plug into here and then you guys can you know feed it through to your ps4 but however for the xbox one you guys actually have to have a special adapter that, which plugs in your controller for this right here now the the audio and stuff that won't actually you know work on the ps4 or on the xbox one and that's kind of the one thing i really don't like about this headset you know, just this headset. The other headsets they make are Xbox One and PS4 compatible. No, you know, stuff, extra stuff required. But um, as I am um, an Xbox player for the majority, it really is just kind of a little bit of a setback having to buy an adapter to play um, the Xbox One with this headset. But with that being said, there's a lot of things I actually do like very much about this headset and really would recommend it to anyone who is looking to buy one. The first thing, guys, is it's really not wireless, but it's not wired. You don't need batteries for it to keep it, um, you know, charged and working. And you also don't need a wire to plug it in constantly to a power source. I know I had some Turtle Beaches I paid $80 for, and they were constantly wired, had to be plugged into my computer, and it was just always a pain in the ass to have to walk around 18 foot of wire. They give you about, I would say, 6 foot of wire total, so it's not too much. You guys can always ravel it back up and use like a little rubber band or a wire tie to keep it out of the way. And um, it's just very convenient, I think, really, guys. So um, it's a combination between wired and wireless. You don't always have to have uh, batteries for it. There's no batteries or anything like that required. And the only thing you need to do is just simply plug in uh, the audio aux cable right there, and you're good to go. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Now, the next best thing, guys, is this right here. This thing, um, it just it keeps your head from like hurting after playing a game for like an hour because... This hard plastic, and I know some of the other headsets with the hard plastic, they just really kind of hurt your head and your ears after you guys play for a while. This right here is like a cushion. It's a pad for your head, and this hard plastic will never actually touch you. So that is another cool thing about this controller or this headset. Um, another thing, guys, is it weighs like four ounces. I mean, it looks really bulky in the video, but it honestly is one of the lightest headsets I've ever you know like used. Um, even my Turtle Beaches, which were like one-third the size of this, weighed like twice as much so it's a very lightweight design and it'll keep this you know the strain of having two three pounds on your head all the time it you guys won't have that problem and they're very very comfortable as well Finally, guys the best thing about these is the audio quality for the money these i think are 80 dollars originally and these actually i think sound better than 300 dollars pair of astros and yes guys i have used 300 dollars pair of astros and while they are nice with the the mixer and all that stuff for what you guys are paying for this this is a very very good substitute for you know spending three hundred dollars on a pair of astros or turtle beaches um just stuff like that guys even though these are you know cheaper i think they are still in the same realm of possibility for using them for really high um people that really want to be professional in gaming want to really take it seriously this is a great you know addition to your gaming necessities and your collection so overall, guys, what would I think of this personally? I love these, and I actually kind of hate that I um, had my Turtle Beaches for so long because these are honestly one of the nicest pair of headphones I've ever used. And that's coming straight from my heart, guys. I'm not trying to sell this product. They told me to be honest, and honestly, guys, I love these headphones. So with that being said, I will have a link on, or actually in the description below if you guys want to purchase these. There's other ones um, that they can, you know, produce for you guys. There's not like just this one. They other they make other ones too. So um, I'll have a link to this as well in the description. And if you guys want to uh, leave me some feedback, if you guys do own these headphones or if you guys do buy them, 
what you guys personally think, that would be great as well. So, thank you guys all for watching. This has been a review for the Gamdia's Arrows Elite uh, microphone headset. But, guys, it's an honest review. So, thank you guys all for watching. My name is Ryan, and I'm out. Peace.